Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel Vlog with the episode Attack of the Galactic Ninja. I think I was Ninja, but I'm just thinking with Ninja, and it's debatable. This episode is kind of like making waves, cluster. So many things are going on, and yet you keep going. Wait, what? 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 Yeah, Madame Odious introduced her threat for this season. You know, there's always like that group of villains that the Rangers have to fight before anything else. You know, like the Ten Terrors of Mystic Force, or... I'm sorry, my brain's farting at this moment. But, yeah. The Galactic Ninja. Four distinct ninjas that the Rangers are going to be fighting. And sadly, I did research on each of these four, and I could not find any yokai that's associating with them. Well, whatever. They, each of the four are holding a medal for, that will increase their powers in some weird way, I don't know what. But they get to, but we are, the Rangers are fighting against the leader, Wolverine. His name is Wolverine. Even though he's a badger. I guess I just took a shot in the dark. Well... Anyway, for the Ranger story, it's more focusing heavily on Calvin jumping to conclusions because it starts with those two, with Calvin and Preston hanging out, talking about what they're going to be doing, and Calvin noticed Preston dropped the necklace. And at the exact same time he was about to try to get some answers about the necklace, Preston and Haley runs off for what's going on. It is, dis it is discovered, sorry that Preston and Haley are putting on a show of Romeo and Juliet with both Haley and Preston playing Romeo and Juliet. And for the comedic moments for Victor and Monty, Victor wants to play the role of Romeo to the point where he is ha basically he's hamming up his acting, dressing up like some ancient Shakespearean actor, hamming the acting worse than William Shatner, and the Teacher even admits that, Victor, I was doing these whole tryouts and yet you didn't show up. But after Monty's, come, I meant, you know, begging, Victor's the understudy to Preston. So Preston goes missing, Victor's Romeo. Wouldn't there be already an understudy for Preston before Victor? Just stating the obvious. But yeah. It's, they're acting, I mean, Preston and Haley are acting out the roles because Haley has stage fright, okay, that's something. And because of the fact that she forgot to take off the necklace from the play, I'm at rehearsal, Calvin sees her with the necklace and he's basically jumping to conclusions, paranoid of what's going on. Even the moment he sold them rehearsing out in the park while the other Rangers were eating lunch, He's jumping to conclusions. And then Wolverine shows up and takes the memories from Preston and Haley. Okay. He just, no, I mean like he takes their memories so they cannot remember them being rangers. It just leaves the question, how much of the memory did he take from them? It's just okay so did he just take the memories of them just being rangers because they are surprised when they see the rangers and he also takes Brody's and Sarah's memories and it just leads to so many questions like wait Brody was basically captured throughout his life would he he wouldn't remember anything like I said how much memory did he take Levi and Calvin are basically the only ones who are okay while they're basically trying to work well, think of what to do. Levi's deciding to go the smarter route and trying to teach the four how to defend themselves and how to fight because even though their members are gone, they can still become rangers. That's obvious fact. I mean, I'm pretty sure they were able to fight even before just when they first started becoming rangers, so I'm pretty sure it's not that hard to teach them. They basically were just gaining practice. That's what was really supposed to be happening, but 
We got Calvin just worrying because he still doesn't know what's going on. It would have... And Mick decides to do the teaching of the lesson of don't jump to conclusions so you get all the facts by dropping a hammer on his foot and over-exaggerating what could have happened. What will happen to him. That's it. When we... Calvin and Levi have an idea to try to get the memories back because Levi said he can't teach them. Okay, like I said, how much memory was stolen from Bro? Because he was training on ninjutsu, I mean, being a ninja since he was a little kid. It just leads to so many questions when it's, when there's some problems when it's dealing with that thing. But yeah, the idea is to tr lay a trap for Wolverine. Levi and Calvin are basically just sitting there discussing ideas. Wolverine shows up, tries to steal memories, only discovers they're dummies. And using a force elemental star, they steal the memory sack back. Levi fights Wolverine while Calvin's sticking all the memories back into the Rangers. He wants to get some answers from Haley, but fight first. They all morph, they, have, they fight, and they even introduce the Galaxy Ninjas minions for this. Fox Box. Fox Box. My mistake, I said Fox Box. And it doesn't make any sense in the Power Rangers point of view, but it would make a little bit more sense in Sentai because I'm not going to go into all the details, but these were basically specific warriors by Odious's counterpart, and these are basically Odious's variations of minions, so like I said, it makes more sense from a Sentai's point of view, but let's just get on with it. They have, these four ninjas have these types of minions. They're fighting, they're doing it. They beat Wolverine with Calvin doing the finishing blow with Brody doing the battle, I think. And then they introduce the giant monster battle. We get, they make the red lion zord, they put and basically, yeah, you know, they shoot him up. They use the gun thing properly. And throughout the whole giant robot fight, I'm thinking, Wolverine has a shield. Is he just letting him carpet bomb him crazy? He could just block it. Keep his vital safe by using the shield. Whatever, they finished him off, but he ain't dead. He just shrunk the size and left, but he left his metal behind. And Odious takes it for a bigger thing that's going on. As soon as the Rangers jump out the Zords, which I'm wondering where the Zord go when they jump out. Revert back to normal. Calvin wants some answers. But he has to wait till he goes to the play at school. And he watches them doing the whole scene of Romeo and Juliet, and he enjoys it and happy. He apologizes for jumping to conclusions, and that's it. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned the comedic part with Victor and Monty. They were going to try to get rid of Preston by laying down a soundproof trap box. Basically, they picked up a... The school received a package from South Africa. They soundproofed the box so if Preston gets inside, he can't scream and they won't... And... All that, but they're not going to send him to South Africa. They're just going to send him to his house. They already got the delivery being sent delivery men to come and pick up the box. They go in, Victor and Monty go inside to, so Monty can show Victor everything, and Victor laid off the trap on him, themselves, getting stuck, and the little paper fell off, so they're being sent to South Africa. Which, it would've been more funny if the stamp sign stayed there, so when they got shipped over to Preston's house, his dad opens them, he's like, you two again? It could've been more like a meeting for that moment, since those two did work for Preston's dad for a little bit. But yeah, they get sent to South Africa, and like what you would usually expect, they're in a, they open up the box, and they're in an area full of lines. That's it. Like I said, this episode's clustered. With so many things going on, I'm trying to understand Wolverine's power. He had the ability to steal memories. I didn't even bring up the fact that he actually did multiple clones of himself that they, that they fought. I'm sorry I didn't bring that up, but still. He just steals the memories, and the question is how much of the memories he stole, 
of everybody's because, like I said, when he stole Brody's, it just led to more questions than answers. If he would have took in Calvin's memories, I think it would have made more sense having the two brothers working together because Levi stated he did not want to get his memories messed up again. The new threat, hopefully the other three will do a better job. Hopefully. Like I said, th these four had to research and I did not find any yokai based on them. So I guess we're going to end the video right here. All I can say is, this is Rasa, signing out. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to watch more, click on the previous video to see more, or if you want to keep up with the channel, subscribe. Till then!